my name is Praveen. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Java Fun. Today we're going to talk about prime numbers. First, we're going to check how to find it out whether a given number is a prime number or not. Secondly, we'll find it out how to print the, all the prime numbers in a given sequence. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, if I want to print all the prime numbers till suppose 100 or 1000, uh, so that limit will be taken from the user input and will print all the prime numbers from let's say 2 to that given particular number. Again, uh, if you're coming to my channel for the first time, please do like, share and subscribe. We do make uh, videos uh, regarding all the interesting Java interview questions. If you have missed or if you're coming for the first time, please do check the interview. Uh, interview questions or the videos created for the Fibonacci series all the other prime number videos and all the other interesting stuff into my channel you will find the link into the description box or you can check uh, the playlist into my channel as well okay uh, so let's see uh, please do watch the video till the end uh, it's gonna be a short video uh, the algorithm is not very complex but uh, we'll first understand what is a prime number and then we'll implement it using a java language so let's find out what is a prime number basically okay so the definition for the prime number is it is a whole number which is only divisible by or the completely divisible by one and the number itself so if the number or the given number is divisible by any other number apart from one and the number itself then it is not considered as a prime number so the condition for the prime number is its only factor should be one and the number itself so what really is a factor factor is a whole number that can be divided evenly into another number the the first few prime numbers examples are basically two three five seven so these are the prime, uh, prime numbers so if i take an example of suppose say seven 7 is only divisible, completely divisible by 1 and the number itself which is 7. So if you take any other number till 7 in a sequence starts from suppose say 2 till 6, no other number can equally divide uh, number 7. So that's why number 7 considered as a prime number. But if I take an example of suppose say 4, so 4 is equally divisible by 2, you get the remainder as 0. So 4 is not considered as a prime number. Does one consider as a prime number? No. So this is one of the confusions regarding the uh, in candidate's mind whether one is a prime number or not. So if interviewer asks you to print the prime number sequence from let's say 1 to 100, one is not considered as a prime number. So keep that thing into your mind. So with this thing in uh, uh, gets cleared, let's see uh, how to devise algorithm for finding a num uh, prime number. So how to find a prime number? What, what will be its algorithm? So as I told you, you need to start uh, a loop basically to find it out uh, from let's say 2 to number minus 1 because number will equally divide its own number. So uh, and 1 will equally also divide. So it starts from 1 to, uh, so start from 2 to number minus 1 and then find it out into that sequence or into that loop whether any other number can equally divide the that number or not so how will you find it out you will basically take a mod operation if the mod or the remainder of the division coming as zero it means that number is basically equally dividing that given number it means it is not really a prime number if, if you don't find any number equally dividing that particular given number then it basically is a prime number so basically given number n loop from 2 to n minus 1 with uh, let's say index as i i'll take uh, a boolean as a prime uh, is prime as a variable to basically in each loop to find it out whether a given number basically is a prime or not if n mod i is equal to 0 then basically it is not a prime number then the the variable becomes false and in the end of the loop if prime is prime still remains uh, true then number is a prime number else number is a not prime number so let's say for a given number 7 how this particular algorithm works so loop from 2 to 6 which is n minus 1 first iteration 7 mod 2 that is not really a 0 so first iteration basically given you a false 7 minus 7 mod 3 false again still goes on 7 mod 6 so you don't get remainder as 0 in any of the loops so basically that makes 7 as a prime number so if you take another example as suppose 4 
so loop from 2 to 3 which is n minus 1 and 4 mod 2 becomes 0 so that's why uh, there is a number apart from 4 and 1 which is equally dividing number 4 that's why 4 is not really a prime number now how to find it out so that is really uh, to find it out a prime number in a uh, as a given prime number suppose now so let's do one thing let's implement this particular program first and then we'll implement another program to find it out in a given sequence how to find it out a prime number so let's do that first okay let me open a new class i say prime numbers in sequence let me get a main method and what i will do is i'll get the number as an input from the user please enter the number so java provides a class called scanner to read the user input from the console so i'll get a, i'll initialize that particular object so i'll say scanner or say new scanner and give a standard input stream as an input to its constructor so let's initialize the scanner object and now i'll get a user input into let's say a variable called number let's say scanner dot next int now let's find it out whether that particular number is a prime number or not and what we will do is we'll basically need to take a loop as we show it into our algorithm so let's say integer i equals to and i say less than number minus 1 i plus plus as shown in the program itself we'll take a boolean operator boolean variable uh, let's say i say its name is is prime initialize this with true so if whenever we get a mod as 0 we'll just initialize its value or reassign its value to be a false and let's say i mod sorry, sorry number mod i if number mod i equals equals 0 it means the number is equally divisible by that particular index then this number is not really a prime number so i just initialize it as false okay if is prime then sys out that number is prime else else number is not not a prime number okay let's run this and let's see if it works or not so this is for a single number which is a single user input then we need to modify this particular program to print all the numbers in a sequence so i'll put suppose six six is not a prime number which we are getting correctly then run it again let's run it for a prime number now let's say three three is a prime number number is prime okay so this is working fine so with this thing in mind we have one loop here which is basically uh, looping from let's say two to number minus one and finding it out whether number is prime or not now what we need to do is we need to find all the prime numbers in a given in a given limit so for that okay 
So let's find it out how to find the prime numbers from in a given sequence. So as you have guessed already, uh, we need to run two different loops. Uh, basically, so the first loop will run from one to that given number sequence, which is given limit, which is from one to n. So uh, if user given input as 100, so we need to find it out from 1 to 100, okay? And this index is suppose i. Now, there will be another loop, uh, which is basically what we implemented just now, which is your inner loop to find it out. And given index, which is i, is a prime number or not. So the second loop will run from 2 to i minus 1, which we just saw. Uh, just saw. So its index will be j. And it will follow the same thing that we discussed. Uh, if i mod j is uh, 0, then it's not a prime number. Uh, and you'll, you'll basically break the inner loop and come out. Otherwise, it will continue to run. And if if at the end of the inner loop, you still find the is prime flag is true, then it means that number is a prime number. Else, if the number is not a prime number. Okay. So let's see how to implement this particular algorithm in Java now. We basically modify our existing algorithm. So let's say what we're going to do is we need to take a, here we say please enter the uh, limit for the prime number series. So basically you need to find it out till what uh, limit you need to find it out the all the prime numbers in it. So and I'll modify this particular name for this variable. I say limit. Okay. Now let's run the first for loop. So for that first for loop starts from zero. Uh, starts from one basically and it will run till less than or equal to limit and i plus plus now we need to run a inner for loop inner for loop let's take a index as say j and j runs from again 2 as we discussed in this particular example it runs from j i'll remove this particular part not really important so let's remove it so it runs from j is equal to 2 and it will run till uh, it will run till uh, i minus 1 basically because this, this is the outer for loop or the number for which you are uh, basically checking whether that particular index the outer for loop index is uh, prime or not okay so this is your inner for loop and let's see now again the same thing if loop now i say i which is a number for which you are checking whether it's it is um, uh, prime or not so i say i mod j inner for loop equal equals 0 then each prime is basically false and you will break the loop you will come out of the inner loop so out, outside of the inner loop basically what I am doing is if I want to print the series at the end let's say I take string buffer to print the whole series and I say new string buffer okay and outside of this inner for loop I say I'll do a prime check here if is prime if it is prime then basically you add buffer dot append i and I say some space okay now once both the loops basically complete we will print out the complete series of prime numbers basically what we'll do is let's say
prime numbers from 1 to and say limit or as below okay okay got it so i think this uh, boolean flag we need to reinitialize every time we're running a outer loop okay uh, one deliberate mistake i did to for you to make sure that you don't forget about this thing is one is neither a prime or a composite okay so need to run it from two now this should be perfectly fine this message should be perfectly fine that's not an issue but uh, run your loop from let's say two to whatever is the number is okay now this should be like this now let's run this and let's find it out whether it still works or not i still need to find it out from one to hundred sure now this is working perfectly fine uh, so these are your prime numbers from let's say one to hundred okay now that's pretty much it uh, if you want to find it out more about java interview questions please do like share and subscribe to my channel there is a whole lot of, lot of uh, interview question playlist has been created into my channel go and check out the other programs as well uh, if you have any suggestions or the comments uh, regarding my teaching style please do uh, put your comments any suggestions are are welcome uh, and thank you for tuning in thank you so much